We had three bound to shift some bales. Dunks along the road already with a flatbed. There's not a huge amount of bales to shift, but it'll be a bit quicker if we've got two trailers. The quicker we get that done, the quicker we can get the forklift back here to yard. One, to shift barley from that shed into that shed. Round, round, get around, I get around, yeah, get around, round, round. What a tune! Assuming those clouds don't amount to much, we don't get any showers, we may get combining this afternoon. Unfortunately, it was just a bit more rain last night than we were thinking or hoping for. So we'll get these bales cleared, we'll get the combine shifted, and then we'll see how we're looking. Kev is currently up the hill there at yard two, finishing off that road. He's got the forklift and the digger. Duncan will nab the forklift to unload those bales. Duncan and I should be done by lunchtime, maybe. We'll see how this straw is. It might be not too bad, it might bail later. Still a little bit of moisture there, but I think enough that, I don't know if you can see it on my hand. See a wee bit of moisture still kicking about, so. You can hear the breeze. Give that another three, four hours, that'll bail. Since Kev managed to get the end rig all bailed, we'll get into here much quicker because there's nothing that's been ran on by tractors. It's all nice and fluffy so air can get in about and dry it. Here comes Dunk and hopefully here doesn't come the rain. Look at that for a picture. Yeah, two bound. Oh, look how gloomy that is. That's where we're going as well. That's 140 bales in for the winter bedding and feed. Another 800 odd to go. Oh man, the field we're going to is just right on the edge of that rain. I don't know if it's raining at the field or not. Right, that is what we've got left over from last year, which is all of these ones and then, well, there's three loads in there already. A few left over from last year. This shed full will hold about 1,500 rounds. Yeah, if it's raining here, it's definitely raining where we're going combining. Right, we're off. About an hour later than we intended to, just with the rain. But we're going, which is the main thing. I'll go and deal with this, and then I'll come back for the low loader, chuck the fart lift on that, head back to yard one, and then swap again for a grain trailer. Silver linings to a poorly drained bit of field. Perfect place to put the header on. You don't run down any crop. get into this. This is Tardis Seed Winter Barley. How's it looking? Looks okay that way, looks a bit thin that way. Yield prediction. Seven and a half tons a hectare, that's my guess. Maximum. Dunks will make a start. Kev shouldn't be far away with a trailer. Oh, oh, the remnants of a wet winter. Bumpy tram lines. Let's go. Quite handy being able to nip it about with the fork left on the trailer. And we're good to go. 
first load in and oh look at the the rain I think I think we'll be all right I hope I'm just doing a quick swap of tractors. Get some wider tires. Also, that's a lot smoother on the road. Or not a lot smoother, but definitely smoother. Dad's working away at shifting that feed down into the feed store while we bring in this seed. Should be a batch just ready to come off any time now. Seed winter barley, harvested now. That will be sown in the ground in not too long a time. So what we're gonna do is gonna come out that exit of the conveyor, the dryer, all heap up there. And by the time that fills up, Dad will have that all shifted. And hopefully by the time we need that space for another crop, Dodd's seed have been to collect it all, to treat it all and send it out to customers. It usually just about works out right. That's one of the good things about growing winter seed specifically, is it's harvested and it's gone almost immediately, because it's needed. Food delivery! Happy days! 7.2. Where's the other marks? For a tractor meal, nine and a half. Oh, that's better than my usual. Yeah. Oh, I've got about three hectares left. Please just let us get it finished. Oh, and this has just gone everywhere. Oh. This is my favorite part of the day at harvest time. Evening time, no traffic, cruise down the middle of the road. Oh. Bliss. Avoid all the potholes and bumps and oh. We've managed to avoid the rain. Another two, three minutes. Happy days, job done. And my trailer's just waiting over there. There might be a full tank off the combine going to it. Not having any problems now with the belt on the threshing drum. Auger's working beautifully now since the sensor's been changed. We think this is yielding a good bit better than the other field. Kev's heading off home. Job done. Oh, that is a nice picture, isn't it? Straw is, it's not wet, but it's just a bit, it's not brittle or anything like that. So just a bit raw. It'll need another couple of days to kind of brittle up a bit and firm up. Just again, with this be field being seed, not sprayed off, so the straws, some of it's not really dead yet. Job done. Okay, the yield result on that field, it worked out as seven tons a hectare after drying, absolutely rubbish. First field we cut was 8.1 tonnes a hectare, so probably going to be the best of the season winter barley wise. That field being 7 tonne, the next two that are coming are not going to be in the 8s, they'll be 7s as well, if not into the 6s, tonnes per hectare, so yeah, awful. The winter barleys have never had a good spell. They went in in mediocre wet conditions, horrible wet winter, very, very cold and lack of sunshine in the springtime and wet, so yeah, they've had nothing good no surprise there that the yields are bad frustrating can't do anything about that we've just got to crack on someone commented in the last video saying at seven tons and um, you're not going to make any money why bother growing it this is a very abnormal year the winter we've had it's been very extreme hopefully fingers crossed that does not continue but you've got to work on the five ten year average you can't base your results on one year and I don't think the results we've had of the yield, there's anything we can actually do to change it or change what we're doing. Possibly getting it in fractionally early to try and miss that break in the weather and get it established a bit earlier because the first field we've sown that got established a bit earlier has done better. That's the only really thing you can pick out of it. Anyway, on to the next few fields. There's one field that's going to be shocking. It's patchy as anything. Not looking forward to that. Got a thank you to say. 
We're at 30,000 subscribers. Thank you very much to anyone who has subscribed and watched along the way and still watching along. Fingers crossed for the rest of harvest. Not today, but there has been a lot of sunshine kicking about now. So hopefully the spring crops are going to benefit from that and we'll see a bit better yields coming from them. Just when you're combining winter barley at seven ton a hectare, it's no fun for anyone. Anyway, cheers. I will see you in the next video. Subscribe if you're not ready and like the video on your way out. Cheerio.